Hi, welcome to our live stream. I'm glad that you're with us. like what I wanted for the song. I knew I had it ready. Done. And this is for Nick. It's called Maestro.
Oui, Monsieur René. Most people don't know that Lou's first name is René. René. Oui. So right now, at the same time, the Dare County Arts Council is producing courthouse sessions series. They do that every week. But this week is special because it is a songwriter's workshop for veterans. So it's a veterans event. And we had the honor of submitting this song as one of the songs that they're going to play in that concert. Of course, you can see it later, just like you can see ours later. <clears throat> so this goes out to definitely the female veterans. But I think that the guys can be honorary Joe Bell Flowers for this one. I wrote this song for the women of Oklahoma. I just wanted to express how special they are to me and how unique they are and how brave and strong they are. Because living here is not exactly the easiest thing, especially a long time ago. In the song, I talk about a dish called Old Drum. And it's a dish where they would take this big drum that used to be able to catch and keep. And they boil it up and eat it for dinner, and then they have it for supper, and then they have it for breakfast, and then they have it for dinner and supper again the next day. But when I was writing the song, I was trying to cultivate a, a border in my garden with these wildflowers that we hear called Joe Bell flowers, because Joe Bell legend has it that he propagated the island with these wonderful Indian blanket wildflowers. So that's why they're called Jewel Flowers. And, and uh, they just wouldn't go where I wanted them to go. They wouldn't bloom. They wouldn't flourish. They had a mind of their own. And they wanted to be where they wanted to be when they wanted to be there. Kind of like the women of Oprah. So I knew I had my metaphor with those flowers. So this is for them. And this is for all the veterans. Fight and do their duty for the rest of us. Well, Joe Bell Flowers. She's singing in her kitchen while she rocks and sews. Her man's out on the water. Boiling on the stove Through our kitchen curtains The melody feels so sweet On the breeze down the lane To my heart across the sandy street Just enough to become the 
scale mandolin, so it's still in the mandolin family, but it plays and sounds more like a guitar. So this song was written by a friend of mine, but I've never met him. His name is Ian Sinclair. He's Scottish. to watch your partner march down the road. And Great Britain, if you took the shilling, it was handed to you or it was at the bottom of the glass, you were constricted into the army. So this is what it was like for her when that happened. It's called the King's Shilling. <coughs> Bye. 
this next one. So the rest of the story about my being in Paris was that actually Nick and I got cancer at the same time. And I survived, but he didn't. So that was my bucket list that I was on, to be in Paris. And uh, I just had survived a, a bone marrow transplant. And I had come back home and found a telephone number in my backpack. It was Lou's telephone number in my backpack that I'd gotten before I went on this one year long bucket list trip. So I called him up and I went to his house and it was raining and cold and I had a cold if I remember right. And we just knew we had a great connection musically. And then the next night he came to my house and I don't believe he ever left. Um, we've been together ever since. There was a different kind of spark in the room that night. And I had to tell him what my situation was because I was only one year out of something that I wasn't even supposed to survive. So. I just had to sit him down on the couch and tell him what he was getting into. <laughs> I think it was too late by then, but I felt like we had a choice to maybe choose the music thing, but not the love thing. But you know what choice we made, and that was 20 years ago. So, really? Yeah. Really yeah, well, it was 20 years ago when I had my transplant. So this is my 20 year anniversary this year. So it's maybe 19 years ago. Yeah. Cool. But, <laughs> Thanks, lovey. Okay, so this is um, what Lou said to me in that moment, inspired the words of this song. We finished it together.
nice guitar. Your dad actually. So my nephew Chase, I have to say this. I think that Sadie and them are watching. I love you very much, and I miss you very much. Those are my great nieces and nephews, or niece and nephews. And my great nephew Chase was born when I was having my transplant at Duke 20 years ago. And he's coming this weekend to plumb our house because we had to rebuild our house after Dory on the first floor. And so it's just so special. I just I can't get over how fantastic it is to, um, to be here. <laughs> And have my beloved Chase coming down to help us finish our house. And I love you too, Walker. And I love you too, Sadie. So this song is about us. This is about our family. Oh, meow. <clears throat> oh, we do? I have my live oak. Oh. And then meow for the last okay. one. Okay. Oh, do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go over half that. Okay, my life. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm happy to play this one. And my family's watching. Because that dining room table that we eat on when we're here, that we eat at, was Nana and Pop Ups too. And I inherited it. Marty Morgan of the um, Nashville Morgans with his sister uh, Lori Morgan and his dad was George Morgan. And Marty and I rode the ferry, Cedar Island Ferry, a couple times and wrote this song and I finished it up and, and Lou adds this beautiful piece to it. Oh, well, I just want to remember to tell you what the screen is all about, so after the song I'll tell you. <clears throat> How are you doing over there with your rig? solid, animate things that we have around us have memories. It's called My Live Oak. <coughs> Cupcake with 
with sprinkles and a little white box of trees. I trace the smooth round edge where four generations meet. This humble stick of furniture weathered by a hundred years, <clears throat> bathed in milk and honey, stained sweetly by our tears, burnished by crazy laughter, this battered hero is my home. My mama's table is my live oak. My mama's table Coyote plus one. And what we're going to do is we put the invitation out to all of our friends who have played with us in the Coyote plus one series in the years past. And they're all going to be sending me material, plus material. And although they're, uh, so we're going to be having them playing here, and then you will be watching as we all get to play together. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, so uh, we tried one last week, and um, I believe we're ready to, to try one next week, and then uh, two or three people have said they want to do it, so we're going to work it all up, and we'll have it for you when it's ready. So we keep tuning in on, on Tuesdays, we'll have some other people joining us. We're very excited about that. And let's see, other announcements. Oh, you know, we just wanted everyone to know that a portion of our proceeds, our tips and everything, go to Charlotte Nemesha Castro's scholarship fund at Ocracoke School. So just know that when you tip us, you also tip a young student who's graduating and will receive the scholarship. And this year it's Jessie who got the scholarship and she's going to art school. And so um, that's really lovely for us that Charlotte's memory lives on in the form of scholarships to Ocracoke students. So thank you for your tips. It also helps us keep the lights on. And we really appreciate that too. The link is paypalme slash coyote music debt. There's also a donate button on our website. Some people don't like PayPal. All right, tomorrow night we are going to be here with Martin. Last week we thought we had to cancel, but uh, what was going to happen that was going to make it cancel didn't happen. It canceled. So Martin's going to be playing tomorrow night with us, and we're going to be playing jazz, a bunch of old-time jazz, and it's just going to be really, really funny. All right, so, oh, and this song, this song is a song that was a consignment. Somebody asked me to write a song for their daughter, Annie, and when I got up with Annie to find out what she was interested in, it was all about her cat. And I was a little worried because I'm both Lou and I are allergic to cats, so I wasn't quite sure how that song was going to come through. But it did. And I posted a picture today on our Facebook page of our friends Vicky and Appy's cat. What's the cat's name? Nima. Nima. And apparently she's a very shy cat and lives outside. But she came into the porch to watch this song called Meow. So, if Annie's cat could speak, it might say this. <laughs> Many cats might say it. Many cats might say it. You can say it too. You can sing along with us. The chorus is meow, and you'll know when to sing because it's when Lou sings with me. So. Please sing along with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, two. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Lost to go. 
gone astray, wandering alone in the dark. When your auntie and uncle find me and bring me home from the park, you might say I'm truly beautiful, but you'd never call me sweet. Thank you. We love you. Good night.